Getting a top secret clearance, for better or worse, isn't as difficult as you might think. You fill out a form, gives all kinds of background data, information about where you've traveled around the world, and then a federal agent will go and interview your friends and family members uh, and find out a little bit more about you. Um, they'll ask about where you've traveled to, uh, are you a drug user? They'll ask your friends and family, would you trust this person with classified information? And uh, then it goes through a review, and uh, if you don't have any red flags, you'll get a top secret clearance. Now, a top secret clearance, you have to remember, it's not like you get a TS and all of a sudden they read you into you know, the Roswell landing. You'll only be read into the programs that you need to know something about. So there is a such thing as need to know. What's also interesting about that is it's not necessarily applied in this day and age. If you look at all of these staffers in Congress and the White House, the National Security Council has ballooned up to like hundreds of people at this point, and they're all being read on to covert operations. And you have to ask yourself why, what for? And then it can't be any surprise that this stuff starts leaking out to the press when so many of these bureaucrats know about it.